he's obviously he's obviously black. Let me take you for a little run here, you black monkey. Yeah, see, that was like a good a good example of what a monkey would do. Like I was like the white man with the big wallet, and he was the chimp chasing me down all game trying to steal it. You have now seen a brief clip of what we are in for today, but it does only get worse. So I do want to preface this entire video with a trigger warning. I know some people don't like these, but I think it's important because the topic matter is quite heavy and I want people to be comfortable and happy in, in this space on this channel. So if you're not wanting to watch anything to do with racism today, I suggest you click off the video. There's a lot of it in this video, unfortunately, and we're going to be talking about it. And without much further ado, Let's get into it. Now, I wanted to start this video by talking about what this TTV thinks is toxic. What does this guy think is too far in the game of Dead by Daylight? Well, in the game that I was sent and the game I'm going to show to you guys today, he actually answers that question. Now, in the game, the clown was targeting him quite heavily. He was tunneling, he was camping, he was slugging, all of the things that make survivors' heads just explode with anger. And as I'm about to show you, this TTV wasn't exactly happy about it. He's camping me, seriously, bro. Like, try more. Wow, you're toxic for that. You really are, though. Now, I want to pause here. And I, I just want to make sure you heard him say, wow, you're toxic for that. Okay? This guy understands the concept of being toxic, of being an asshole, it seems. Just remember it. So, he goes to second stage on his first hook. It's not an ideal situation for anyone to be in, but... The clown makes it even worse by then just straight targeting him through the rest of the game. And this is how this guy responds to it. Oh, I know he's not. He wants to suck my cock. He wants to suck my 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 He's sucking my He's gargling my He wants to lick my balls? Are you, are you living out of fantasy here? Is that what we're hearing? Are you imagining all of this happening in your head and just getting really into it? There's a little bit too much detail there for it to just be a passing comment, in my opinion. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you and your small little f***ing penis your father left you? That to me sounds like a little bit of projection. Maybe we're not talking about the clown at this point. Now the game then progresses with a lot of more horrible things being said and the clown slugging this guy before eventually killing him. Now I'm going to skip the slugging part just for a second and we're going to move over to what happens when he kills him. Check it out. Look, you f***ing die from cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that laugh? Were you trying to channel Uncle Fester from Wednesday? <laughs> like, this guy is no, no f***ing game at all. It's so weak. No game. <laughs> this is coming from the guy who has made swearing and cringe and grimace inducing comments their whole identity. But the clown has no game. Go. Nice nice getting ran for three generators when I when I was dog shit anyway. Now let's return to what happens when this killer slugs him. I skipped it for a reason, it's because it's gonna lead into the rest of what we are talking about in this video. So let's check out what he says. All right, he wants to be a so I'm gonna pre-drop it because I'm comp like BB Bryce. That bleeped uh, word was the N word. <laughs> he waited out my dead heart and everything, that f***ing blast. Oh my God, why is he being like this over it? Like, get over it, bro. Get over it, bro. Uh, bro, get over it. This guy is literally the encapsulation of that energy that, oh, bro, oh my god, is that all over? Like, literally in the start of this game, he was bragging about the weed he brought earlier that day. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Yo, you're a f***ing fat ass f***ing black. So yeah, perfectly reasonable responses to a video game. And unfortunately, this guy's bigoted remarks aren't only contained to what he deems to be toxic behavior. For example, when I clicked into his stream, he was in a pre-game lobby just talking to the people who were in his headset. And I kid you not, it took him 30 seconds to start making a joke about black men getting shot. And I'm not going to show that joke because I neither want to or really need to. And to be honest, I just feel like it would lead to some asshole who watches this video repeating it in a different scenario. 
He also, in the first few minutes of me watching him, as you've also heard briefly in the gameplay here, uses the word black as an insult. A casual insult whilst he's talking to his friends, as you can hear in some of the clips here. Yeah, hide your flashlight, you f***ing black. And I want to see you hit a f***ing, hit a beamer on me, you f I remember you were telling me, you told me about that, you black. I'll check it out. Why do you make your clips so loud, you f***ing black? What I did find interesting about this guy is, despite the fact that he is so openly racist, he regularly plays as Feng, a character who is not white, to put it simply. But he very quickly explained that. You f***ing I f***ing hate There's a reason why I play Asians. Because I love to see him die. Do you understand? So it turns out his racism isn't only targeted towards people of color. Now, as an experiment, I watched 17 minutes of this guy's stream. And in those 17 minutes, including this clown match, which I've shown you bits of, he makes 47 racist remarks, varying from using the word black as an insult, to the n-word, to fully fledged racist jokes. Are you okay with bro? I mean, area of I mean, area of black? Fucking <laughs> the crow <laughs> Damn. And for just a little bit more context, that works out to roughly one remark every 20 to 25 seconds. Included in that were nine iterations of the N-word, said with no apology it would seem, three jokes about sexual assault, and confusingly 13 mentions of him and the clown having sex. You had a little bit beforehand with the whole sucking my... Yeah, there was also this. Oh yeah, you are. That's f so there's that fantasy again. And what's truly pathetic about this guy, truly pathetic, is despite all of the edgy comments he makes in his headset to his friends, which they all have a little giggle about, he's a fucking coward. After this match, the clown actually comes in to his stream because this guy very openly has TTV in his name. I don't know why you feel like you should be promoting your stream when you're saying this kind of stuff, but hey, sure. Swift and still get popped. Oh, he's talking shit in my... Ah, uh, you're funny. I shouldn't have went second on my first hook, though. Of course, some f***ing stinky blacks that didn't get me off the f***ing goddamn hook. And the clown, quite rightly, takes issue with some of the racism that this TTV is throwing around. And tells him as much in the chat. Now, before I show you what the TTV's response was, can you, can you guess what it is? Can you guess? Can you take a wild guess based on any interaction that you may have had with somebody like this or have seen with somebody like this? Here it is. I was, I'm just kidding, what the fuck? I'm just kidding, it's just a joke, stop being so sensitive. Why can't you just calm down and chill out, man? The typical response of someone who knows they're being a complete piece of shit, but is too much of a coward to take any responsibility for their actions. I mean, it's either that or this guy genuinely is just kidding and thinks it's perfectly acceptable to make jokes and comments like this. But I do kind of find it hard to believe that anybody is genuinely stupid enough to think that that is acceptable. Maybe I'm wrong. Another really concerning thing about this TTV is that he's not speaking into a vacuum. Now, when he plays, he often swifts and he has people on comms in his headset who he's talking to and who are talking back to him. He also has his girlfriend in the room with him, who you can hear in some of his streams talking to him in the background. And not a single one of these people call him out on his behavior. Not a single one of them say, hey, whoa, hey, maybe maybe you shouldn't be saying that kind of thing because there are many instances where they could have and should have. I've spoken before on this channel about the importance of holding your friends accountable and I don't think I need to explain the significance of that in this scenario. But if you do hear your friend or your family member or your significant other say something that is racist or even sexist or homophobic or anything like that, please call them out on it. It is so, so important. I've shown you a very small snapshot of what I found in this guy's streams. And I did my research as usual. I went back through some of his previous streams and it's all like this. In fact, in some of them, he even sprinkles in a little bit of homophobia there. A little bit of ableism. You know, if it strikes his fancy at any point, I guess. But I have cut out some of the really horrible things. And I'm not going to show it because I don't need to or want to. It is truly disgusting things that this person has said. And I just, I don't want to give it more airtime. I, I genuinely don't. I don't want that kind of stuff on my channel. And I know with this guy in particular, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to call 
for his name to be released. And to be honest, it was something I really battled with, with this guy. I've never wanted to reveal a name more than this person right here. I've never wanted somebody to be held accountable for their actions so much before, but I set the rule and I can't have it as one rule for one and one rule for another. So I'm not gonna reveal his name. I never have and I never will. Uh, it's not the point. And in this situation in particular, anyway, I do think it is more important to react with love than it is to react with hate. I don't mean towards this guy though. Like, no, he can, he can get firmly in the bin and he can stay there forever. No, instead, I'm going to bring back the positive streamers, the shout out. I'm going to shout out some awesome streamers for you guys to go and check out and show some love to. And hopefully we can come out of this situation with something positive. You know, you guys seem to really like it in the last Toxic TTV video that I did. So I want to continue it. And I think it's important now more than ever. So let's start with Lani Love. And I hope to God I'm saying that name correct. Please forgive me if I'm not. Now, I had the pleasure of raiding this person recently and they were an absolute sweetheart. They actually recognized me and everybody loved them from my community. So I wanted to give them a bigger shout out here, a wider shout out. And here is a clip of what you can expect from them. Now, madam, let me get this blast mine on here. Yeah, why don't you come up in here for the compilation? Come on, sis. Yes. Come up in here for the compilation. <laughs> Next up, we have a streamer called High Bubble, who was another recent raid target of mine, which resulted in this screenshot. We're not going to talk about it. Just roll the tape. Okay. Oh, another pallet here? What the heck? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Ah, the Meg! It's a Meg! And finally, for our shout outs, we have our first community suggestion because I've asked you guys many a time to suggest any wholesome streamers you think I should shout out. This one is from The Queen's Pup, who has recommended Sierra Tonin, which is an awesome name, by the way. I friggin' love that. They're a really cozy and chill variety streamer who does play Dead by Daylight on Twitch, and they recently hit 10,000 followers. So, massive congratulations to them. And I know I said cozy and chill, but here's the clip I found. I guess in every cozy and chill, you got to have a bit of chaos. Now, please make sure you go and show all of these creators some love. Go follow them if you like their vibe or just go and hang out in their stream for a little bit if you want a bit more information about them. And if you guys think you have any more suggestions who you think people should go and check out, let me know in the comments. Leave their names. Shout them out. I don't mind. This is your permission. Please go and do it and show some love. Let's spread the love and not focus on the hate of this situation. And of course, if you want to send me any wholesome streamers directly who you want me to shout out in a future video, you can do so on my email or through a DM on whatever platform is easier for you, to be honest. But for now, that will bring us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I know that we dealt with some pretty heavy subject matter today, but I do think it is more important to respond with love than hate. And I just want to reiterate that. There's no point in trying to find who this person is and going and sending hate their way because they'll probably thrive on it. They clearly like having this edgy persona and, and causing controversy. It's best just to ignore them and let their voices fall on deaf ears. Thankfully, they don't have a very large following. So maybe we keep it that way. But for now, guys, go out there and be the best down crying so you can be. Go and spread some positivity. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye for now. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never give it up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.